Welcome everyone to episode 544 of Bullfeet's Current Call. I am your host, the man that does walkthroughs, playthroughs, gameplays, vlogs, management, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, all the stuff man could ever imagine, and that's Bullfeet 224. Now, I'm getting this here for this week, you know, I don't want to have much, much news this today, but here goes. After the conclusion of the special Evo Tekken 8 showcase, sun, well, showcase on Sunday, which featured exciting intense matches played by past Evo champions, Kazuhiro Harada, Michael Murray, and Mark Julio hosted a Tekken Talk segment revealing new Tekken 8 details. During the event, the final Tekken 8 launch character will be... Wait for it. They announced Reyna, the third newcomer, the third... The third newcomer and final character of Tekken 8's 32 strong launched roster. See Rainer's Game Boy Review trailer from Bandai Namco below. Well, I see, I, I, I see, I, I seen it already, so no need to worry. So, anyways, Rainer's fighting style is based on a real Japanese monster called Taito. She employs fighting style using acrobatic maneuvers as well as brutal attacks such as knife hand strikes, eye pokes, and scratching all reflecting her mean streak personality. Her, her moveset also has various Mishima-style karate influences, which her requiring techniques such as the Wind God Fist and the Spinning Demon. Reina also has her own take of the Heaven's Wrath stance once used by Heihachi Mishima. Um, when Bandai Neko de designing and, and animating Reina's moveset, they collaborate with Title expert Tessuji Nakano, four-time winner of the Taito of the Taito World Championships, Reina's deeper storyline elements and official bio has been yet to be revealed. Okay, Reina's visual design was created by Mari Shima Shimazaki, lead character of. The Bayonetta series. Mari Shimazaki was behind the visual designs of Josie Rizal and Kazumi Mishima back in Tekken 7. As well as June's new design in Tekken 8, Mari, Mar Mari Shimazaki altered the designs for the Soul Cover series in the past. Below, see the first ever concept artwork for, for Reina during Tekken Talk Live at the Evo Tekken 8 showcase. You, to be honest with you guys, you do not you do not want to mess with this woman. She will put you out of your misery. Anyways, additionally, a new battle stage called Secluded Training Ground was revealed in Reina's trailer. This new dojo stage shares a resemblance with Tekken 7's Mishima Dojo in Geese Howard Estate and features breakable walls. And finally, take a leisure stroll, scroll down to check out all the brand new design details and concept illustrations for Tekken 8. New, newest character editions such as Fix Chevalier, Devil Jin, Lin, Lee Chalon, Elisa Bosconovich, and Savina. Yo man, this is why I got I, I got saved my money to, 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 to buy this game. And along with the PlayStation 5 because I have all I have almost have all the PlayStations but my PlayStation 2 is not working properly, so I gotta like get a a, 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 repl a replacement. So yeah. Anyways, Sunday night's Sunday Night Live's Evo Tekken 8 showcase featured a thrilling competition between past Evo champions who put on a great show. Seriously, the pros made the game look awesome, and overall PlayStation values of of Evo's Tekken 8 showcase stream was off the charts. So it's worth the watch, especially if you plan to learn Tekken 8 in 2024 and continue playing it for many years to come, like we do. Let's further without further ado, watch or rewatch the full Te Evo Tekken 8 showcase below. Okay. In addition to the Tekken 8 edition and several play with play in in interviews, the Evo Tekken 8 showcase video above contains all the latest info revealing reveal for Tekken 8. The live presentation featured Kazuya Harada and Michael Murray begins in a round at the 3 hour 16 minute and 0 seconds mark in the video. Tekken 8 launches on Steam, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S 
on January 26, 2024. Keep your advice your agent for more Tekken 8 news and content. Well, that's that, that, that's all the gaming news I got for you today. So, on my channel update. I did a lot, a lot of videos th th this week today. Except, uh, except Tuesday, because I have to, like, two... So I have to, like, skip out on Tekken Tuesdays once in a blue moon. So, anyways... I did I did two level I did two level videos on, on Mega Man One on the NES. I'm about, to, I'm about to do one later on today after the after this episode of Both Feet's current call. Um I also did seven Soul Calibur six matches, five five Soul Calibur five matches for the PS3. I was it I was in my 39th M NFL Bliss on the gameplay on the N64, I also did my 116th workout video. I haven't done I haven't done workout videos for quite a while now, so yeah. Oh wait, I have to skip I have to skip out I have to skip out on, on, on Mondays for six hour Mondays. I forgot to do that on Monday. So anyways, I also did a team battle on gameplay on Tekken 2, because you know Tekken 8 is perfect for Tekken Tuesdays because I like playing Tekken on Tuesdays. I also did seven Blood Royal Prom Furry matches, five Soul Calibur 2 matches, I also did another Team Battle gameplay on Tekken 3, I also did a game, I also did a playthrough with Edge Matcher on Soul Calibur 1 on the Dreamcast, that game, the, the Dreamcast is not complete without, without that game, so anyways, I did seven Soul Calibur 1 matches, five Dragon Ball Z Budokai 1 matches, I also did one match in Psychic Force 2012, I also did a, an art came out with Ordo in Street Fighter 3 New Generation, part of the Street Fighter 3 Anniversary Collection. I also did two Street Fighter 3 Third Strike matches on the Dreamcast. I also did seven Ultra Street Fighter 2 matches. I also did not one, not two, but three playthroughs on Mortal Kombat 4 on the N64. I gotta learn how to. I, I, I gotta play the. I gotta, I gotta learn how to play the hidden characters. And I also did seven King of Fire King, King, King of Fire 15 matches. That's all I did for today. That's all I did for this week, you guys. Um, in other notes, um, I'm I'm planning on doing another level video on Mega Man One before I move on to Mega Man Two. Sorry about that. I also did. Oh yeah, I I got I got I need to like. I haven't done a flea market trip for for like quite a while now, so hopefully in the future I'll try I'll, I'll try to track down some PlayStation Two games because I because I haven't done a a, a a collection video on on my PlayStation Two yet. So once I get a replacement PlayStation Two, I'm I'm going I'm going back to doing PlayStation Two get gameplays. So oh yeah, please know that the PlayStation Two have backwards capabilities with the PlayStation One. So I can do either Tekken One, I can do I do Tekken Two. Three or Tekken Tag Tournament on that system, but hopefully in the future I will try. I will try to track down and say something as much as much as I can. So please stay tuned for more videos in the near future as well. Yeah. Well, that's gonna do it for another episode of Bullface Current Call. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to like all my videos. Leave a comment, share. It's gonna be huge. You guys have it. Go back and watch other episodes. Don't get me, don't forget to be notified for any new videos here. And make sure you join my YouTube manager as well for early access to new and unreleased videos. And don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow on Instagram and TikTok, and MN Channel Online, Xbox Live, and PSN. Until next time, you guys, strike first, strike hard, no mercy. We'll see you in the next video. Peace!